When Facebook first launched in 2004, you didn't see the news articles, videos, and photos that you see today. You'd have to click on each person's profile to see what they posted. But in 2006, we rolled out a feature called Newsfeed, which connects you to friends, family, and the world all in one place. It's whatever you see when you first log into Facebook. But everyone's newsfeed is different. Mine probably looks a lot different than yours. So how do we determine what shows up in your newsfeed? Well, let me explain. On any given day, there are thousands of pieces of content that you could potentially see in newsfeed. If you're a huge sports fan, chances are you might be interested in basketball highlights or European football. We use an algorithm that predicts what posts you're most likely interested in and puts those at the top. It's called Newsfeed Ranking. Let me break this algorithm down in four steps. The first is inventory. Think of it as all the posts you could potentially see. So for me, this could be my friend's photos, posts from groups I'm part of, or advertisements that might be relevant based on activity. Say there's a post in my inventory from my sister that has a photo of her two kids making breakfast. For this post, the algorithm will then gather what we call signals, like who posted it, how I've interacted with that person in the past, and whether it's a photo, video, or link. The algorithm uses the signals to make predictions about the post based on how likely it's relevant to me, whether I might interact with it, and if it's worth my time. I usually like a lot of my sister's posts, so I'll probably like this one. Finally, the algorithm calculates a score for the post based on the signals and predictions. Posts with higher scores are more likely to be interesting to me, so they're placed closer to the top. In this case, I'm likely to see my sister's photo higher up in my feed. We know that algorithms aren't perfect, so we've created a number of tools to help you customize your experience even more. You can do this through Newsfeed Preferences, where you can use tools like Favorites to pick the top 30 people and pages you want to see most. There's also an option to see posts chronologically by using the Most Recent tool. We also use surveys to get direct feedback by asking, is this post worth your time? If you say it is, you'll see posts like this higher up in the future, and if you don't, it'll be closer to the bottom. One thing to know is that content that violates our community standards, like hate speech or graphic violence, is often removed from our platforms before you can see it. If there's something that might be offensive, but doesn't necessarily meet the bar of removal under our policies, it'll probably receive a lower relevant score and shown lower in newsfeed. There you have it. Every newsfeed is different, tailored to things that are relevant to you. So the next time you log into Facebook and wonder why you see what you see, you'll now have a better idea of how it works.